Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. It's Polyester here. And this is my second YouTube channel called Polypops, where I make videos about my hobby of collecting these Funko Pop figures you see here behind me. And what a day. I had the kind of day that Funko Pop collectors can only dream of. I found a grail for about 10 bucks. And I can't believe it happened. I can't believe I'm about to show you what I found today. But here we are. So this weekend, my family and I, we went to our friend's house. They live on a farm in a small rural community. And usually when we visit them, we go to one of the neighboring small sleepy towns and um, just do some uh, shopping in the antique stores there. And I usually find some Funko Pops here or there, but really nothing that I wind up bringing home. But it's always fun to just go look, spend some quality time with friends shopping in these small quaint towns etc etc and this weekend we went to uh, visit them and stay overnight at their place again and uh i knew this trip was coming up and i even had visions of oh i wonder if we're gonna go do any antique shopping again and maybe i'll find something amazing in uh the world of funko pops and well i guess i manifested it i don't know because it happened today so Today, um, we woke up this morning, had breakfast, and my friend said, you want to go to this other town that we I've never taken you to, and we can see some sites over there, and I said, sure. So we went to this small community, I'm not going to say what it is, just in case it ends up being a honey hole for the future, but it was a small town, a population of about 3,000 people, and we went into one of the antique stores, one of these stores that has um, a bunch of booth space for different people to bring their antiques to their section of the antique shop and it's all on consignment. So we went to this store and I was looking around and I saw like uh, a Muppet movie lunchbox that uh, caught my eye. It was a little, a little pricey, but it wasn't too rusty. So I was considering it. And then I spotted my first Funko Pop. So I saw an Independence Day movie one. I was like, ah, eh, big deal. And then I did see another one that was that I do actually need, which was Slimer from the Ghostbusters, the original one. Um, the Slimer that I have is the reissue with all the hot dogs in his mouth. And this is the one where he doesn't have hot dogs in his mouth. I'm like, hmm, I kind of need this one for my Ghostbusters set. But it was $27, so, you know, a little overpriced. Generally, that's what happens to me when I go to these antique markets. I do find some Funko Pops. But they're overpriced and I just think that's yeah, not a good price so I don't buy it then I spotted this which is Dr. Emmett Brown from Back to the Future not a very remarkable pop I would say this was a loot crate exclusive one month this was just everybody who got loot crate got this Dr. Emmett Brown pop and I thought well you know I already have this but this is a pretty good price here at you can make that out marked it in nine dollars and i thought you know what i'm gonna get this anyway for nine bucks pretty good deal and then i looked to the left and i saw it i saw a grail sitting there on the shelf also for nine dollars and it's ghost face from scream and when i first saw this i got said oh well yeah but it's gonna be fake right it's not gonna be real but nope it's real i started looking at the telltale signs here on the fakes, the M in movies, the center of the M goes down to match um, the the legs of the M. This one has the M where it should be in the middle. So I'm like, huh, pass that test. The other test is on the fakes. The G in ghost face doesn't have the, the uh, tail here at the bottom. It's just a curve, no extra part here on the G. So it passed that test too. And then I look closer at the pop itself. The fakes don't have glossy eyes or glossy boots, and these do. And on the fakes, the knife in his hand, you can see it back there. The knife in his hand on the fakes is merely just the tip entirely dipped in blood, where only the tip has blood. And on the real one, the blade is painted all the way along. So I said, I'll be damned, it's real. This is a real pop from 2015 there, if you can make that out. And it has the store price tag on it of $11.99. And I got it for a whopping $9. And even here you can see that the price tag, it was printed today. Today. So the timing was perfect. They put this in their booth, printed the ticket today, and it sat there. And I got it for 
So for those of you who are unaware of the value of this pop, I'm gonna pull out my little Funko app here. What you can do with the Funko app is you can scan the barcode on the bottom and it'll take you directly to the Funko, uh, the pop price guide price will pop. And when I scan this one, it shows me that the value of this pop is $507 Canadian. And I got it for nine bucks plus tax. Now, it isn't in the best of shape. It does have some condition issues. A little bit of uh, thumbnail creases here in the window. But it's still a $500 pop that I got for 10 bucks. I can't believe it. I can't believe it's real. I thought for sure it was going to be a fake. There are so many fakes of this because this pop is so valuable. But it passed all the tests and I know it's real. And it's, it has this, the original store barcode on it. Crazy. That was my find for the day. Wow. What am I going to do with it? I don't know. I think with Scream 6 coming out, they're definitely going to make another ghost face. I don't think... I was surprised they didn't make one for Scream 5 coming out. I don't think they're going to miss that opportunity again. And once they make another ghost face pop, inevitably, the value of this one is going to plummet. So I'm probably going to pass it on. I already have it. I don't even need it. But there's no way I was going to leave it behind, right? For that price. It's crazy. Crazy. So I'll probably uh, try and trade this, find a good home for it or something. But, yeah, that was my find today. The find that you dream of. So you just never know, I guess, when you go out into an antique market. Somebody just didn't know what they had. They, they printed this ticket on there today and put it in their booth. And they didn't know what they had. And as soon as I saw it, I knew what it was. And I knew what I was going to have. So this one came home with me. Now I'm going to put it in some protective armor or something. It should really be in a hard case, honestly. So we're going to box it up and take good care of it. And then hopefully we'll find a good home for it one day. But that was my find today. So that's all I have to share with you today. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the time you spend here with me on my channel. And we'll see you next time. What will I find next? Who knows? Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.